Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Oh, hi. I'm sorry. Um, my computer reset. <laughs> Started the reset. Okay. Don't worry. But, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Pero ya le quité la actualización. All right. How is everybody? Where is everybody today? <laughs> Watching El Salvador game? I think. <laughs> uh, it's a little quiet day. Yes, it's quiet today. Hey, there's Mirna. Hello. Hello, Mirna. Did you go to the gym today? No. <laughs> Why Next not? Week, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go every day. I went to the park with my family and grandfathers. Fathers. Grandparents. Yeah, grandparents. Um, what park did you go to? Its name is Parque de la Familia. Oh, okay. That's a yeah. nice park. I really like that. Yeah. It's nice. Which one? It's a metapan. I don't I don't think that you know it. It's in Metapan? Yeah. Oh, also, well, there's one in Los there. Planes. Yeah, it's yeah, other. It's other. <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah, there there was one in Los Planes. Oh, okay. Oh, you live in Metapan, right? Yes, I remember. Yes. I live so far. Is there a, a restaurant, Los Remos? Does that still exist? <laughs> yes. That's a nice, well, I don't know. Is this still a nice restaurant? Uh, it's an, It's very old. Yeah. And I don't know. They... The food is not the, be the best. Is the owner from Germany? I don't know. When I, I went there a long time ago, the owner, he was from, from Germany. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The food is, is, is nice, but it's not the best. And, and the price is, like, too expensive. I don't know. Like, a... Uh, shrimps, I don't know, camarones. Shrimp? Uh, is The cost is uh, $17. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. It is expensive. Yes. All right. So, okay, you live in Metapan. Nuri, you live in San Salvador, right? Nuri? She can't hear me. Orlando, where do you live? You are on mute. Sorry, Mexicanos San Salvador. Oh yeah, I remember you were telling me that. Mexico. Yeah. Hey, did you watch the game? Yeah, the same shot, different day. Yes. <laughs> Yes, we play like always. Yeah. But you know what? You know what? I was expecting 5-0 or something. Yeah, 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 of course. But I, I say the same shit, different day. Uh, uh, playing very well. Hmm. They didn't play very well, to be honest. The only the only the goalkeeper. But maintained, maintained the results. Yes. Uh, but uh, two, three, four, five years ago is is the disaster. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe they didn't play very well, or United States didn't play very well. Huh? That maybe. bad. Okay. It's a hey. low lowest motion. <laughs> have you seen? Have you? Did you guys see a video today? I don't, today was the uh, possession, the ceremony of the president of Honduras, correct? Yeah. 
Did you see the people chanting Bukele, Bukele? Like, like, like he was the president? <laughs> yeah, wow, well, people. Yeah, when when the people saw the the president of the 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 assembly, assemble, uh, assembly, right? The vice president, I think. The vice, right? yeah. And then the people, the the people. That's crazy, man. I can imagine yeah. all, all, all that, and it was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the politician people. Nidia Diaz. No, no, no. Your Spain. Fortin Magaña. He, he, I think he, he's the new one right now. He. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but that yeah. man, that man is a little stupid because. Um, yes. He's very stupid. Is. Okay, if you hate Bukele, okay, good. But really, man, I was watching an interview. He was speaking with a woman. And he says that he has, he, he has knowledge, tiene conocimiento, that Bukele pays $1 for every like in Facebook. <laughs> and I say, come on, man. Oh, my God. Because... Yeah, it's, they think th these people are dinosaurs, really. They actually think people will believe that. <laughs> yeah, Bukele pays one dollar for Puyas. Yeah, see, I'm going to press like, 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 like. Every people uh -huh. buy a, a cell phone. <laughs> uh -huh. Where's my dollar? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Hi, Jenny. How are you? How is San Miguel? Not. Hot. The weather is very hot in San Miguel every um, time. Are Are you originally from San Miguel? Uh, I born in La Union, but um, I live in San Miguel. Uh, desde since since uh, since since, since uh, two years old. Two years since old. I was two. Since I was through yours. So if Limeño plays Aguila, who do you go for? Um, Aguila. Oh, okay. 100%. <laughs> How old are you, Jenny? 37 years old. 37, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I used to work in San Miguel. I used to be a teacher in San Miguel. And I remember El Aguila used to study. Mm -hmm. They were my students, and I became very good friends with um, El Sarco and my other seat. They gave me free tickets to the stadium always. You remember Roberto Catalnica? Yeah, La Catalnica. What happened uh, to him? Uh, uh, he is the teacher of my kids, my children. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. He have a uh, school, soccer. Oh, and good. And they play... They play here. There. He was good, man. He was very fast. Catanica Martinez, right? Mm -hmm, I think. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good. All right. Hello, Maylin. Good evening. You know, I like your name. I have never heard your name before. Maylin. It's good. Really? Yeah, I never heard. I never heard of May have you have you ever heard another name Maylin? Mm, I don't know. I think maybe Merlin, Maylin. Yeah, I heard Merlin and, and but no, I never heard Maylin. Okay. So remember yesterday we practiced giving reasons, right? Uh, when we say because what what's next? There? Object say, and a verb. Yeah, when we say because or since, we say the subject and a verb, right? We yes. just, we say the, the excuse, the reason. And when we say because of, it's more specific, correct? Yes. But the and difference- And I say it's my former. Yes, because of and due to. But after because of and due to, what's next? A noun. A noun, exactly. Mm 
All right, so let me open up. Man, stupid selector. <laughs> How do you say, jugamos como nunca, perdimos como siempre? <laughs> yes. We played like always. No, ¿cómo, es, cómo sería? Porque sería always, always. The same history. Yeah. The football is not cup of, is not cup of tea. Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's sad. Okay, let me see. Do you see my screen? You know what? Ahí sería, um, Jenny, we, pay, we played at, like usual and lost as always. Okay, so we did this video. Let's see next. Where are my glasses? Here they are. Okay, here, read the paragraph, complete it by filling the blank spaces using because, since, because of, for, due to, uh, the reason why. Type one answer for each space. You just need to type the word in the space, not capital or period is needed. Oh, eso está mal escrito. Que sería no capital or period needed. What is capital? Letra mayúscula. First letter. Okay. Ah, miren, les voy a decir algo interesante de la mayúscula de inglés al español. <laughs> Ajá. Ustedes saben que en inglés todo nombre, igual a español, todo nombre lleva mayúscula. Pero también los meses y los días. Y los títulos, por ejemplo, um, Doctor. Sí, no, pero un título de Harry Potter y la piedra filosofal, un ejemplo. Oh. Harry Potter y la piedra, o sea, todo, la mayúscula L, piedra mayúscula. En español no, ¿verdad? solo sería Harry Potter. Y la piedra filosofal, eso puede ser minúscula, creo. Pero en inglés no, cada letra va en mayúscula. Cada letra al principio. O sea, Monday, mayúscula. Por ejemplo, today is Thursday. Thursday is capital. In Spanish, no, in Spanish, hoy es jueves, normal. Yes, so remember that, okay? So I like Casablanca because it's always packed. Since it's always so packed, there's a long wait outside. It's popular because of the fashionable people. The Soul Club is famous for fabulous music. Due to the crowds, the Casablanca is difficult to get in. The reason that or why people go there is just to be seen. Okay, Casablanca is always packed. Do you know what packed means? It's always full of people. Yes. Like, like, um, crowded. Los, crowded. Los, los choris. <laughs> it's packed. <laughs> Yeah, no, but crowded is a lot of people. Mm. Packed is like 
packed is like the buses at seven in the morning. Okay, so listen, MTV is one of the most popular television networks in the world. People love MTV not only. What's next? Because of, for, because, since? Because of. Because of. Okay, let's try it. But also, here, let's do this. <laughs> MTV is one of the most popular television networks in the world. People love MTV not only because of its music videos, but also because it's clever and diverse programming. Aunque para mí está mal porque esta generación ni la anterior creo que nunca vio MTV música. <laughs> MTV, it was good in the 80s and 90s with music. But the 2000s, there was no more music. I think right now is reality show. Yeah. Does MTV still exist? Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, since it, okay, look, since, since, because or because, since it keeps its shows up to the minute, young people watch MTV for the latest fads in music and fashion. Things. Yeah, all these are correct. Mm -hmm. MTV is also well known for oh. its music award show. The reason why many people watch it is to see all the fashionable guests. Let's see. Hey. <laughs> You only say copy paste. <laughs> Why is this wrong? Because of. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Why? Uh, let me start with Nuri. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right, Nuri, where do you live? I live in Lourdes, Colón. Okay, very good. Why is Lourdes famous every morning? <laughs> uh, because of the traffic. Yes, it's because of the traffic, yes. It's true, every morning there's a lot of traffic? Uh, <laughs> every day. Oh. But if, if you live in Lourdes and work in San Salvador, it's terrible. But if you live in Lourdes and work in Lourdes, maybe no, right? Uh, yes, right. sometimes. Okay. Jenny, why is San Miguel famous? For the weather? <laughs> for... Mm -hmm. for the weather or because of the weather? Mm -hmm. Because of the weather. And because of the mayonnaise pupusas. Mm -hmm. ah. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, not mayonnaise pupusas, I'm sorry. In, May curtido. Cur mayonnaise curtido. Mucha gente me pregunta cómo se dice curtido en inglés y es nombre propio. 
Pero si alguien le pregunta, but what is curtido? Ah, ok, entonces es, ¿qué es curtido? No podría ser como pieza de repollo, pizza, cola, algo así. Ajá. ¿Saben cómo se dice el, el repollo? Cabbage. Oh. No, cabbage. Oh. Cabbage. Uh -huh. uh, o oh, red chicken. <laughs> no, yeah. Se dice o oh, oh, se dice o oh, cabbage o oh, coal. Cold. Uh -huh. Y usamos el, el verbo, o sea, usamos vinagre como verbo. So, vinegared cabbage. Que sea como rip repollo vinagreado. <laughs> that, that is curtido, ¿no? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. With lemon. Or with lemon, yes. I like with lemon. Yeah. It's better than the vinegar. Vinegar. With lemon? Yeah. Cool. I prefer that. <laughs> All right. Let's listen to Maggie, Sports Pro, and Mexi Grill. All right. I'm going to press play. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me share sound. Page 82. Can you hear? Exercise 10. Yes. Listening. Okay. Radio commercials. Listen to three radio commercials advertising businesses. What are two special features of each place? What slogan does each place use? One, Maggie's. Oh, Carol! What a great suit! It looks just like the one I saw in the latest fashion magazine. Is that a... Uh-huh. Wow! But her clothes are so expensive. How can you afford designer clothes? And on our salary? Hey, did you get a raise? No way! You know I'd tell you if I did. Well, there's something you're not telling me. Okay, okay. Well, I found this really great store. They have all the latest fashions, not last year's stuff that's already out of style. And their prices are just unbelievable. They must be. That's the second new outfit you've worn this week. Where is this place? It's called Maggie's, and it's just around the corner. I'll take you there at lunchtime. Don't wait for your lunch hour. Come to Maggie's now. We've got all the best designer fashions at the lowest prices, and we accept all major credit cards. Remember, if you don't see what you want in your closet, come check out ours. Two, Sports Pro. Hey, people, what are you going to do this summer? A little fishing? Camping? Maybe finally learn how to play tennis instead of just watching it on TV? Yeah, I know how much you'd like to do these things. If only you had the right equipment. If only you knew what you were looking for when you walked into one of those big sporting goods stores. Well, here at Sports Pro, we want to help you, not confuse you. Our experienced salespeople are knowledgeable. They really know what they're talking about. So. Feeling inspired? Good. Now, come on in. No excuses, because we're open every day. Sports Pro, we're here to help you have fun. Three, Mexi Grill. Excuse me, was that your stomach I just heard growling? Hmm, feeling hungry, right? Only, you're not sure what you want? Well, close your eyes and picture this. A huge tortilla filled with sizzling pieces of chicken. Should you add fried onion and peppers? Or maybe crispy lettuce and tomato? Or guacamole and spicy salsa? Well, you know what? You can have any of these because we'll add any combination of fillings you want. In a hurry? No problem. 
We have lots of people waiting to serve you. And check out our low prices. Mexi Grill. You won't find a cheaper, tastier meal anywhere. I like that, a tortilla with fillings. Do you know what is fillings? Okay. This is not from feel. Oh, I feel my, you hurt my feelings. No, it's not F E, it's F I. The fill, the, the you're not feelings. Mm -hmm. Because remember, he was saying the tortilla with cheese and, and, and chicken or any feelings that you want. So like, like a pupusa. The Come pupusa, on. it has a feelings. Taco. A taco. Yeah, you get a taco and you put the feelings. Like they give you the, 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 they give you the tortilla and then you put whatever you want. Pork, meat, chicken. Exactly. Opciones. De relleno, uh -huh. pero mm. de relleno. Recuerden eso porque <laughs> Viene de fill. Let me write that in the chat for you. Fillings. In Orlando, no, it's not. In, yes, yes, but remember. But uh, ingredients, it can be ketchup. <laughs> But feelings are things that go inside. Inside, okay. Yes. That's the, that's the key word, inside. Though. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because you can, ingredients and could be salt. <laughs> hey, put some salt. You know, yeah. but uh, for example, maple syrup on a pancake is not a feeling. In the burrito? Yes. Okay, the burrito. Yes. What is a burrito? It's a tortilla with a lot of things inside. Rice. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So have you ever eaten? No sé si existe mil burritos or no donkeys. No, they have a burrito this big. And then they tell you, what do you want? What feelings do you want? And you say, okay, I want chicken, meat fish like boom 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 and they put all that inside that's a feeling okay do, 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 do. all right so let's hear maggie's what is maggie's lowest prices have set credit cards i think Okay, sports pro. Knowledgeables. Knowledgeable yes. sales. Knowledgeable. What is sales people? Okay, this is a good question. And I think El Salvador is very bad in this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sometimes uh have you ever gone to Freund Oepa? Yeah. Yes. The people that work there, they know everything. Yeah. For example, excuse me, um, I need I need something for my toilet. And then they ask you, is your toilet this? And then boom, boom, boom. Okay, good. Here. And then they know everything. <laughs> and they know where it is. So those people are very knowledgeable. But then you go to some stores and some people don't know. Mm. Like last week, I went, I went to Auto Repuestos, I think. Super. And, yes, yes, Super Repuestos. And then this very nice woman, she was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, uh, yeah, you know, like, uh, 
Okay, people there, they're very knowledgeable. Hey, do you have this? It's all, uh, okay. okay. And I asked her if she had um, this liquid for ignition that you put in, in, in your gas tank so it can clean the ignition. And I saw the reaction on her face. And but then see me. I don't know, but give me one minute. Let me find out. You solo. No, no, and then so curious. Like me check. <laughs> yeah, and I said, are you, are you sure? <laughs> yes, we don't, we don't. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't want to offend her, so <laughs> I went. CDP. <laughs> the yeah. call center is a CDP. Oh, yeah. No, but I went to the next person and said, Do you have ignition? Si, para motor or diesel? A motor, oh, yeah. Pum, pum, pum. Y la mujer se me queda viendo, like, oh. You know, so what I'm saying is that knowledgeable is from knowledge, people that know. People that know. For example, if you're gonna buy a computer, you have to know about computers if you sell computers, correct? Yes. So in, in Sports Pro, the features, do you know what features is? I don't know. Lemo. Okay, it features. It's like the furniture, no. Miren, si yo le digo en español ahorita, hey Rafael, te vendo un celular. Está bueno, man, es un Samsung. ¿Cuál? No, no sé, pero está bueno. Uno me pregunta, ¿y las características cuáles son? Esas features. What are the features? The last one. Mm -hmm. Like what are the features? Oh, I don't know. It's it's a phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's black. It's big. A camera. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know. <laughs> but if I tell you, no, it's a very it's a very good phone. It's a seven inch screen. It has uh, four RAM, 128 gigabytes of uh, internal. It's an Android 10.0. The camera is very good. It's 42 megapixels. Oh, so I am knowledgeable. All right. And I like to go to um, places where people are knowledgeable. So I, um, my respects for people, for, for companies like Freund, Vidri, or EPA, those, uh, they, really, they really give good training to their employees. Good, good training because they're good. They're very good. Okay, Mexi Grill. What are the features of Mexi Grill? Service. service, no Low price. price. All right, good. Okay, so we understand features, correct? Yes. Correct. Um, when you buy, when you buy something, do you buy because you like it or you buy because of the features, something electronic? I think both. <laughs> Yes, I both. I think both because I want, I want buy because I, I like it, mm -hmm. but I need to the future yeah, okay. about that. No, it's true. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I, you know, sometimes I think it's important to the features. Before you buy something expensive, it's important to ask yourself, 
what do I plan to do with this? For example, when I, when I bought my TV, I went to Walmart and I say, does the TV, uh, how many uh, HDMI ports does the TV have? And the stupid person, he told me, all modern TVs have HDMI ports. And I said, yes, but I want to know how many. How many? He says, it, but he was, <laughs> he was very stupid because he told me, um, like, what's, why is so important how many? It's very important how many for me because I put a fire stick, I put a computer or my laptop and I put a PlayStation and I don't like to be disconnecting and connecting, disconnecting and connecting. So I like TVs with minimum three HDMI ports. Yeah. And some TVs only have one. You know, so, but yeah, like, <laughs> like my wife's father, he went to Siman last year in Christmas <laughs> to buy a TV. And he says, I want, I want a Sony TV. And, and there was a, a Sony TV it was like 50, 55 inches, I think 55, but it was $800. I said, oh, but, but I said, I know my father-in-law and my father-in-law, all he does is watch movies and the movies he watches on YouTube, like the <laughs> old movies, you know, and I told him, look, this TV has too many things. It's <laughs> why don't you buy that Samsung? It's, it was 60 inch. And it was like six hundred dollars. He says, "No, I want Sony." Yes, but the use that you give, you will never use all the compliments of this TV. Get us okay. <laughs> all right, buy Sony. <laughs> y cuando a partir de este año ya no agarra aplicaciones de la tienda from the app store of so. Yes, I, I have a, a similar story, teacher. With, Sony? <laughs> with, with the features, no, with, with brands. Uh -huh. You know that I, 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 we always bought a Panasonic TVs. Like uh, they, they, we have one of forty-two inches. Yeah, but uh, I, I wanted to buy a, a new one, uh, and I went into the same brand, but the features. Were, I, I was uh, looking for a TV that I can stream in HBO and, and other apps. Mm -hmm. But the, the great thing that happened is that the, the, the Panasonic I bought, uh, the 50, 50 inches, the app didn't have, didn't have the, the apps. I couldn't download yes. the apps. So I had to buy a, a, a Roku player mm -hmm. and then I stream. But oh my God, man, it was a lot of, of problem. Because yeah, I went the into the, 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 the brand that, that we know, but then I bought a, a ILG and the LG run very good with all the yes. apps, no problem. I, I yes. will always yes. recommend LG's TV. For me, those are the best. Yes, yeah. yes, a uh, great software. Yes. yes. And, but, or buy the, the Amazon stick too. The Amazon stick is the best. <laughs> yeah. So those are features. You see, so... Um, Yes, when, when I buy things, I like to see the features. <laughs> All right. I remember I used to work in Dell. Remember Dell in Salvador del Mundo? Yes. But in 2004, we used to sell computers and they gave us good training to, to, for that. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see. So, reading exercise, the wrong stuff. Okay, you see my screen, correct? 
Yes. 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 Okay, it says, look at the picture and the first sentence of the article. Why is market research important to companies that want to sell their products internationally? Oh, I have a question. Uh, do you know the difference between marketing and propaganda? No. Okay. No, the, sure. Okay. You need the is a strategias, right? No, actually, the two are the same thing. But propaganda is only for politics and religion. So, for example, if I am wearing, uh, imagine, imagine I am famous, and I'm, and I always drink Coca Cola. <laughs> yes, that's not propaganda. That's marketing. All right. But es que hay gente que dice, ah, buena propaganda lo está dando. Yes, it's similar, but propaganda, it's only, it's only um, for religion and politics. It's about use the words. Yes. Mm -hmm. In Spanish too, we use bad. Yeah, we use the word bad, you know, like. <laughs> More easy. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. I'm sorry, it's not marketing, it's publicity. Publicity, publicity yes, and so propaganda. Easy. It's public, it, it, marketing in the studio, people that study, hey, it works. You know, marketing is like, hmm, there's a lot of young people in this concert. So then the marketing is young people, publicity. Publicidad y propaganda is the same, is what I'm saying. The only, the only, it's the same thing, but propaganda is religion or politics and publicity is the rest. It's like, it's in the news. I think, I think when you, Moises Urbina, I think his coffee cup is always biggest. No? No more? Yeah, nadie le <laughs> well, but imagine. It disappears. <laughs> yes, okay, my yes. the, the Mr. Donald. Yes, or Mr. Donald, right? Or, or in the laptop, it says Mr. Donald. That would be publicity or propaganda? Publicity. It would be okay. publicity. Mm -hmm. So it says here, look at the picture and the first sentence of the article. Why is market research important to companies that want to sell their products internationally. Okay, so in the propaganda, in my opinion, Bukele is a very smart person because he has good assessors, good marketing, or good, I don't know, the people that work for him, they have good um, marketing. <laughs> I imagine they study porque Bukele only works in, in Twitter and Facebook. Funciona. <laughs> so maybe, maybe his assessors, when they do marketing, they tell him, hey, Mr. President, forget TV. Everybody that you need, it's on the social media. And he says, really? Yes. Okay, so he opens the social media and boom, big. So. Yes. If no, no newspapers, no TV anymore. Everything is social media. Okay, listen, if a business wants to sell its products internationally, it had better, it had better do some market research first. This is a lesson that some large American corporations have learned the hard way. What's in a name? Sometimes the problem is the name. When General Motors introduced its Chevy Nova into Latin America, it overlooked the fact that Nova, it means it doesn't go. 
Sure enough, the Chevy Nova never went anywhere in Latin America. Oh, interesting. Maybe that's why the Toyota, the Toyota Echo and the Yaris. But one is for Latin America and one is for the United States. Translation problems. Sometimes the slogan that doesn't work, no company knows this better than Coca-Cola with its come alive with Pepsi campaign. The campaign was so success, successful in the United States, Pepsi tries, translated its slogan literally for an international campaign. As it turned out, the translations were quite right. Pepsi was pleading with Germans to come out the grave and telling Chinese that Pepsi brings her ancestors back to the grave. <laughs> So that was not good marketing. Oh, I think in El Salvador, we have terrible marketing. <laughs> have you listened to the commercials on the radio? Oh my God, man. Yes. That's ridiculous. Hola, Juan. Hola, como estas? <laughs> pues estoy mal. <laughs> Me voy a ir a Estados Unidos. Oh, ¿tienes visa? No. Pagué un coyote. Oh, no. Ten mucho cuidado. Like, oh, or, yeah. or maybe they are patrocinate like a medicine. It's like a, two persons are conversation, but it's nothing. Not oh, nothing. me duele mucho la cabeza. Yeah, it's, it's bad. <laughs> and the names, the names of, of the medicines are funny too. Marijuana. <laughs> Marijuana. <laughs> Marihuanol. <laughs> um, yes. Remember that stupid commercial of this person that he has diarrhea in the bus? Like, oh, oh, and then there's a mariachi. Alcatel, Alcatel. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I said, oh my God. Alcatel. Alcatel, something. Huh. You know, one time, one time I saw, I saw in the newspaper, it was a long time ago. It was in Freon también. And I told, I told my friends, I don't know who is more stupid. The manager of the frown or the, the marketing person that had the idea and accepted. The big, the big thing was like, if you buy this barbecue grill, it was a very beautiful grill. It was a very big grill. It was at $299, yeah? But if you buy it, they give you one free bag of charcoal. Una bolsa de carbón gratis. If you buy the $299 grill. But this was a very, very big page. And it was a complete page in the newspaper. And I was thinking, Carla, mira, venía a ver, what, what? Si compramos esta, nos dan una gratis. Un carbón, and that's one dollar, man. You know, and I don't know what the frown people were thinking. Oh, I see. I see on the hand. Hey, hey, hey. Me van a dar, me van a dar el carbón. I don't know. Bad marketing. Bad, terrible marketing. <laughs> terrible marketing. You know, or, yeah, it was terrible marketing. So, a picture... It's worth a thousand words. Este es un dicho en inglés también, miren. Creo que también en español, pero una foto dice mil palabras. That's how it is in English. Other times, the problem involves packaging. A picture of a smiling, round cheek baby has helped 
countless jars of Ger Gerber baby food. So when Gerber marketed its products in Africa, it kept the picture of the jar. What Gerber didn't realize was that many African countries, the picture of the jar shows what the jar has in it. Um, twist of faith, even cultural and religious factors and pure coincidence can be involved. Tom, Tom McCain shows shoes, oh, I'm sorry. Tom McCann shoes have Tom McCann signature inside. Two people in Bangladesh, this signature looked like an Arabic script for the word Allah. In that country, fit are considered unclean and Muslims felt the company was insulting God's name by having people walk on it. <laughs> Can you imagine that? So the, the shoes were Tom McCain and he signed Tom McCain and it looks similar to Allah in Arabic and the Muslim people got offended. So what happened to General Motors? General Motors did extensive research before introducing Chevy Nova. It's true, false, or not given? It's false, false. I think. False. Yes, they didn't do research. They forgot a Nova is Nova. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you know what, you know what's another one, but they didn't change it. It's Colgate, because in English it's Colgate, <laughs> but in Spanish it's like hang yourself. Yeah, a very good point. <laughs> yes. Nunca lo habías visto así. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a restaurant in, um, you can find it in, in internet, a restaurant from a Chinese person. He put a restaurant in, in the United States. I don't know, but the name of this man, it was Fuck You Restaurant. <laughs> F-U-K-Y-U. Fuck you, fuck you, no, fuck you. <laughs> like, oh my God. yes, that's that was his name. Fuck you, <laughs> okay. The come alive with Pepsi campaign worked well in the United States, yes or no? Who in the United States, yes, yeah, yes. Pepsi still sold well in Germany and China? No. Give. No. Not, not give. Both, I think. Okay. Gerber ch changed its packaging after the problem in Africa? Not give. Yeah, they didn't say what happened. Good. Oh, yeah. Um, Thom McCain used the Arabic script for the word Allah in the shoes? Oh. False. The problem for Tom McCain was the company's name. Yes. False. False. No. False. What was the problem? False. The problem was the signature. The signature. Yes, the signature. The signature was the problem that it looked like Allah. Pepsi still sold well in Jay. Not given. Not given. Oh, yeah, not given. Oops, thank you. Do you remember a long time ago the, the logo of Pollo Campero? It was very stupid, the logo.
maybe you never you never thought about this, but the logo it was a it was the chicken with a eating piece of a chicken, chicken. <laughs> yes. eating a roast. <laughs> Remember, it was a chicken with a with a yeah. chicken. That's cannibalism. Cannibalism. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You know, maybe they didn't think about that. Hey, a chicken eating a chicken. You, you know that I don't like in, in this, those, those campaigns in, in like the burger companies, burger and restaurant, Burger King or Wendy's, when they have the animals, the cows, like uh, even in a cartoonish yes. way, but, but cows advertising hamburgers. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, that's, that's not very nice. <laughs> yeah, this is not very nice. Um, politicians have very bad market uh, propaganda campaigns this was there i don't know if you ah uh, no no it's a no before that there was it was that chicken but he was holding a a, a, a oh, drum okay. say oh. i'm a drumstick drumstick la pierna he was <laughs> holding a drumstick like with a bite Yeah, but it was a it was a long time ago. I remember. It was... All right, and if you notice now, um, the new strategy. The restaurants they don't, the marketing, they don't put their names anymore. They only put the logo. For example, Pizza Hut, they only put the the red roof. McDonald's is only the M. Have you noticed? Kentucky yeah. Fried Chicken? Because he's a faithful. The, the old man. Starbucks. Burger King. Uh -huh, Burger King. What is the Burger King logo? A hamburger. BK. No, BK. Yeah, BK, right? Oh, yeah. Um, I remember my favorite commercials before, and they were bad. It, it was the Marlboro co commercials. Do you remember the Marlboro man? Come to the Marlboro world. To the Marlboro yeah, he world. was like a cowboy, <laughs> and he was always in the desert. You know, he was oh, in the desert. In the music. The yeah. The music. Por Dios, estaban ganas de fumar, man. Like... <laughs> <laughs> he had a fire he had a fire in the desert and he has a cigarette and he gets the big stick of fire and coffee right? drinking coffee oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, that was good marketing oh the beer commercials they're very good they show beers and naked the women and, in or, the or naked summer. men yes and they Ah oh, man, I want a beer. It's hot. <laughs> Good commercials. Do you know that the Marlboro man he died of cancer? Ironically, <laughs> he died of lung cancer. Mm. Yes. Also, yeah, I, another, another another funny um, similar to to uh, Pollo Campero, it was, it was the rabbit from the Spensa de Don Juan. That the tail, yeah. la cola, it looked like something different. Okay, they, they don't use the rabbit now in the Spensa de Don Juan, it's a flower, right? Yes. Now it's a flower, yes. All right, okay, so um, class, I hope you have a very, very nice weekend, all right? Do you have any, any you. special plans for this weekend? Thank you, teacher. No, no, <laughs> just stay home. Yeah, um, Jose, or Orlando, one question. Now El Salvador definitely is out, correct? No mathematical, Mathematical. Um, There's still a possibility, mathematical? 
If, yeah, if uh, they win in the Honduras the next Sunday. Oh my God. Oh, I get so much masochista, man. <laughs> now I just think I'm happy again. Like, oh. <laughs> okay, class. Thank you very much. Have a very good night. Happy Bye. weekend. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.